What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies Mike and Jesse. How's it going? What's up? Guys, we're going to be reviewing Into the Badlands Season 2, Episode 5, Monkey Leaps Through Mist. This is the review portion of the night, everybody. Unless you had other por- portions that were reviews, then I guess this would be an additional review. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, uh, so we're doing the <laughs> okay. review. We have our own little system going here. If you've never seen one of these before, Jesse, what do we do? All right, so we do story rating, visuals, characters, music, and then an overall, then a group overall. Kind of self-explanatory what each of them are about, except for music, in which case we also do sound effects. Yes, and yes. visuals, we do fighting. And we use the Widow's Butterfly Shuriken for our rating system. Damn right we do. I don't believe you. Well, believe it. Believe it, brother. <laughs> All right, Mikey, give it to us, man. What do you What do you got? Let's start with you, man. Yes, what are we, yes. What are we doing? For the story portion, I gave it a 3.5 this week. Ooh. I feel and felt that this is the episode of Escapes. We have Sunny escaping and Vale escaping, and just a lot of uh, a lot of um, escaping cool stuff. <laughs> escapes escape mode. Yeah, especially with Vale, which was very cool. But yeah. Um, yeah, so I enjoyed that because now we get an idea of how everything is taking shape. Um, everybody is set out and they're ready to do what they have to do. So right. Um, right. I think that that's very cool. Uh, visuals, I'm going with a three. Nothing crazy than. Um, you know, I, this is pretty much the same review I always give these visuals. Um, of course, I love the Widow's Mansion. I mentioned that during during the um, you did you know the live review, and I love the costumes. Of course, the junkyard guy uh, Nas, Nas, yeah, his, he was a cool looking character. Yeah. Um, you know, th- just the visuals overall were were pretty cool. The the backgrounds and everything. So I'm giving that a three. Like I said, characters I'll give a three point five. Um, I really didn't see an, uh, you know, a tremendous performance from Sonny or from Baji or, or, or the widow. I think Quinn stole the show. Um, I never yeah. was, I never was a big fan with, with Ryder, but I think that whole Ryder Quinn dynamic and, and Quinn just bugging out and having these delusions was, was really cool. He did, uh, he did a fantastic job, uh, this episode. So I'm giving it a three and a half. Um, for my music, I'm giving it a three and a half as well. Uh, there was, oh, there's always some cool, um, sound effects. Like, like we all agree all the time in this, in this series, uh, when, when, uh, the widow was, and, and uh, not the widow, when Sonny was fighting in the junkyard, there was some really cool music then, you know, I think Jesse always says it too. They, they know exactly what to do just this you know to depict what's going on with the scene with the music you right. know what I mean? exactly especially yeah. during the fights and the sound effects and whatnot but there was um one little thing i wrote for for quinn quinn had a lot of these eerie little out of tune um little riffs and little chords that were going on yeah. that were going along with like the with dr- like his, someone tapping on a, yeah a like metal. his with his yeah. delusions and yeah, and yeah. they did a really good job with that so uh, yeah, like I said, I gave it a three, three point five um, butterfly shurikens. So overall, I'm at, at a three and a half uh, this week. But you know, another great episode. Um, the, sh- the series, you know, the series is uh, is definitely one of my favorites from AMC. It's fun. Yeah, fun. Yeah, fun show. So uh, yeah, what do you what do you have, Chris? For- All right. So for me, for my story rating, um, I, I waffled back and forth on this. I gave it a three point five. Um, I, I was going to give it a four, but then I don't know, man, I kind of just gave it a 3.5. I, I, when I'm looking at the story, I'm trying to see the overall arcs of what's going on with everybody and, and how, you know, and then, and then the situations that the people are, are put in and everything. And, mm-hmm. um, I kind of wanted to give it a four, but I mean, it's, it's a solid, it's a, it's on the high end of a 3.5 you know, it's more yeah. of a maybe three, seven, five, but we don't really kind of do that, you know? Yeah. Um, but there were some really good story elements, which we'll go over in discussion. I won't. I won't get into it too much here. But you know, like you said, lots of escape stuff. Um, just situational, man. The way yeah. you know, Sunny, the the predicament Sunny was put in, how mm-hmm. Vale had to, you know, turn on certain charms now to to get what she wanted. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. The widow deciding to go to Quinn 
Like that was a big one for me. I enjoyed that. That's going to be like, really cool. I can't wait to right? see that. So yeah. So I, I mean, so we'll get we'll get more into that later. But yeah. So yeah. though th- that was my reasoning for that. Uh, visuals, I gave it a four. I always give these a four because I just again I'm I, I'm the one out. You know, I'm the one. I, I edit the live reactions right. So I, and then I get these thumbnails and I'm going through and I'm just like I I I'm in love with their cinematography. I love it. I love it. And it's like. You know, not only are the fight scenes cool. There's always that one fantastical little little shot in the fight scene where you know there it's wire work, but you don't really care because it's still Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon style. And you yeah. know, uh, Jesse even commented on the live reaction. He's like, "That was so bad, but so good." You know, something to that <laughs> effect. And yeah. um, again, the cinematography. The sets, the costumes, like, you know, I got to give it a four. It's so good. Uh, characters, uh, I'm also giving a four because, yes, Quinn stole the show. He's he's fucking phenomenal. Um, you know, and, you know, going along with Quinn's character and the story that he's involved in right now, I did not expect that to happen so quickly. I didn't expect yeah. the whole episode to him be to be him. You know, I also think it's a, sy- a symptom of his brain tumor, which we'll get back. You know, again, I'd like to talk about that in discussion. But I mean, mm-hmm. then his son, then Ryder shows up, and that was the best acting from that kid we've seen. That's yeah. <laughs> the whole time. He Great plays stuff. Better than a dead guy. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. I I really enjoyed Vale's portrayal of like, well, let me try and be like all sex scenes because that's not her. So it's not her. She's <laughs> a very down to earth, practical person, and she's like, well, now I have to do this, and it wasn't very hard for her you know, for her to accomplish what she wanted to, but still, uh, and the widow light, there wasn't a whole lot, you know, but you got, you got Waldo dejected the, you know, uh, Minerva was, you know, her own, th- like the characters. I just really enjoyed the characters mm-hmm. again. I could go forever, but that, uh, music, um, I'm giving a 3.5, um, really good stuff. Mike, I agree what they did with, with him. Um, I, you know, sound effects were great the blood this the so you know i mean they got to add the sword but th- this the shing when the sword gets pulled out yeah. of the the sack or whatever he has it in yeah you'd hear a little bit but you wouldn't hear that it it's, wouldn't be as prevalent unless it was a burlap sack the point is man is that it's the same thing when when people raise guns in 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 movies like no no you're not making the guns not making a cocking sound as you're raising it i'm sorry i don't i don't care how familiar you are with weapons, that's not happening. Guns don't have moving parts like that. You know what I mean? I know Jesse argued that at one point, but Jesse, you have to you have to admit, at least in movies, they they love to make that cocking unless sound. Unless it's a revolver or unless you There's can no cocking. See, right, exactly. Unless you can see them pull the hammer back while they're doing it. Exactly. No I get sound. that. But anyway, point is... It's drama. It's for the exactly. drama. Exactly. It's for the and drama. So People know, hey, it's anyway, cool. my overall is going to end up being a 3.5 at this point. I did get a couple fours in there, and it's like a 3.7. Well, give it a solid. It's a solid 3.5. Um, but, yeah, so anyway, all right. I, I rambled enough. Jesse, what's up? What do you got, man? All right, so I was on the fence this whole rating. It took yeah. me, like, maybe 20 minutes in total going back and forth. So my story rating is a 3.5. And I am sorely disappointed with that. I wanted to give it a four so bad. Yeah. Because I, I really enjoyed Quinn and Vale. I enjoyed Sonny, Beji, and uh, Nas, and the uh, dolls and all that. They, they were good. Great. I enjoyed yeah. the Widow talking with um, uh, Waldo and Jared Leto. Uh, but the part that got me was Jade and Lydia for like maybe a third of the episode yeah you didn't just like sitting that, there crying yeah, i get it grief good one scene time skip there you go done move on too much of the episode was spent on crying about Ryder dying for me guy was a character nonetheless but he wasn't that important to me 3.5 visuals i gave it a four i love the visuals the fight scene was phenomenal when he's gliding over the roofs when he's um, cutting the guy in half, like Mike said, when Got some Jackie Chan style perfect. stuff in there, yeah, yeah. exactly. The waterfall uh, training scene, even though it was kind of we've seen it before, we see that a lot, right. but it's it's still it's looks, still looks good great. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got the hanging tree with the people hanging from the tree. Don't know why, yeah, but they're there. Great, it's yeah. in the mist, and it looks it it's creepy and it's cool. And then you get the explosion at the end, and it's just like you you can tell it's partially CGI. They used a real explosion, but it's partially CGI. Some of it, yeah. Still looks good. Yeah. So that that definitely got a four. That was a solid four. 
Yeah. Characters and acting got a 3.5. <sighs> Again, Lydia and Jade brought the average down. Oh, man. I, I enjoyed the act. It was extraordinary, this episode. You got uh, Sonny's character development from when he's showing, hey, I'm a clipper. I can still fight and do this at the end, but I'm human. I, I can care about people and do all this sort of stuff. Yeah. It's it's extraordinary the scale on which they're developing so oh, and how with, rapid. Yeah, with what's her name? Yeah, Portia, yeah. The, the exactly. Yeah. So that was a three point five. I really wouldn't give it a four, but three point five because the average. Mm-hmm. I mean, jeez. Uh music gave it a three point five. Very noticeable music this time around. I mean, it was in your face. Oh, oh we forgot. Yeah, I forgot to mention the Final Fantasy at the end with the explosion, right? Oh, right before the yeah, explosion. Yeah, there was Final Fantasy. There was um, <laughs> so, so strong a hint as to what's coming. Yeah. Like, it sounded somewhat like uh, Final Fantasy VII when you're blowing up a tower. Uh, you get the waterfall, which is so loud. Yeah. And it's like, okay, distractions. We're getting that. So that got a 3.5. That, that was a solid 3.5 there. So overall, it was a 3.5. I really wish I could have gave it more, but the averages really kill it when you got one group of people bringing down the whole show. Yeah. Eh. Hey, like I, I think I said, that gives save, our group 3.5. Yeah, save some of those, you yeah, know? So, save those four, save those five. Yeah. So I guess what, what you said overall, right, is all 3.5. Yeah, my yeah. overall is yeah. 3.5, and our total overall is a 3.5. 3.5, yeah. Yep. All right, well, there you go. Uh, solid. So, I mean... I would say again. I think we're all agree. It's on. It's on the high it's end like of three point five or three point seven five. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it was a really look. This show's strong. I I hope everyone's enjoying it. I know I know you guys are are happy that we're doing it, and we're happy that you're happy because we all enjoy the show. So it's it's great that we yeah. all enjoy this show. Um, I just like these characters, man. It's just really fun. And I, I'm about to start getting into like discussion territory, but you know what? What? We'll get on to that into it, discussion. Save it. I know. I just I just want to talk about it. It's just a fun show. So guys, uh, I think that's gonna end up doing it for us here for yeah. the review. Once again, let us know what you thought about this episode. Um, you know, in the in the style of our review, what 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 would you rate this this episode? You know what I mean? Um, uh, Mikey, where can where can they reach us, man? They can reach us on all social medias, especially on iTunes. We would like you to check that out, possibly leave a review for that. But, of course, on YouTube, uh, Facebook, leave some comments. We love getting comments from everybody and writing, you know, answer, give us some questions, you know, about the episode. And just like Chris said, if you have a review question or give us your own review of the episode, we'd love to see that. And, uh, yeah, just continue our writing in. We love We love hearing from you guys absolutely definitely and so uh don't forget to go check out the live reaction and then the discussion yep. in which we're talking about yep. go check that out uh get get those thoughts in on that video as well yep. and uh yeah. yeah and you have to have to if you're a comic lover go over to comicblitz.com put in the code third person pod get yourself three months for three bucks buck a month unlimited comics why wouldn't you do it it's on your ios your android your computer your laptop whatever you got just That's right. It. Just do it. Get your binge on. Just get it. Just do it. Guys, thank you so much. We appreciate everything that you guys do for us. And we'll just keep giving you uh, some good stuff. So until the next review video for Into the Bad Lines, we'll see you next time. Peace out. Bitch.